What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. For those of you that like the Rhino Ranch construction projects and renovation projects, um, you're definitely gonna love this next series of videos. Obviously we still got the gate project going on, but in the midst of that, we're gonna be starting work on the old guest house here. And I know I showed this recently in another video and I've, it's been in quite a few videos actually. So this is our guest house. It's actually a decent size. I don't know the exact square footage. I should probably figure that out, but it is a good size guest house. It's got a little, you know, kind of rustic-y, ranch style fence around it which all that's going to be coming out and i'll give you guys kind of the plans for this and it's kind of a good time because i mean things are things are starting to fall apart here I'm taking you guys to the front door of the guest house this is like not exactly a front door it's more uh french doors to a patio style here oh that looks like it's full of spiders we're just gonna leave that right now <laughs> has seen better days didn't really like being in the weather and then you'll see when the front door is closed you really don't want gaps. Now, it's currently a one bedroom, one bath. Um, you can see it's, it's got a pretty good sized bedroom here. I'd say this is probably 12 by, I don't know, 14, 12 by 16, something like that. So good sized bedroom. We take a look in the bathroom here. The bathroom, trust me, needs to be cleaned. It has seen better days, but this is the bathroom. It's got a little single stall shower, um, toilet, sink. And there's a couple little weird things that we're gonna show you guys in this place in a minute. One of them's in the bathroom. This is, I guess, the living room area. And it's got a really, really good sized closet here, which is pretty nice. Um, this closet's actually massive for the size of house that we are in right now. Coming into the kitchen, well, what's about to be the kitchen at some point. This is kind of like a little, I don't know, mud room, I guess you would call it. This was never really designed to be a kitchen. Um, so we just have a fridge in here, a brand new fridge. A freezer. It's got a long ways to go before this is a kitchen. And then obviously you guys have seen in the videos, you come into the back section here and this is what I use for most of my storage, which is basically a garage. But it used to be horse stalls. Um, so there's horse stall mats everywhere. You can see the, I don't know what kind of critters come off of being in a horse stall. But yeah, all this needs to get cleaned up and demoed and just redone. So basically I've been using this place for friends that need a place to live. Um, Dedek lived here for a while. Uh, we've got another friend that wants to come move in and it's time that we actually like fully upgrade this place and make it livable with a real kitchen You know and just some of the more creature comforts that we had planned on doing originally. It's also got some issues. So According to the previous owner They had a nanny that lived in here and she had a water Fountain feature thing that leaked and that's what caused this flooring to warp right here There is no point in trying to fix that as a matter of fact this flooring is pretty saturated with um, dog pee Thanks Dedek so all this flooring's coming out because it stinks in here. Dedic's dogs did not like being in here. So they tried to get their way out. Not only is that door coming out, but this entire wall right here is gonna be coming out because this is gonna be an open access to the new kitchen once we build it. And then I had mentioned some weird stuff in here. So let me show you guys a couple of the weird design features. I don't even know if you call it a feature. How do I roll this dang window up? Does it just go up? Oh, it's back here. All right, hold on. So if you notice from the front, this has a nice, big, beautiful window here, which is kind of in the bathroom, a little strange, but they, they kind of put a wall. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the window keeps going past this wall. It's kind of, it's kind of strange because it goes to like here. I don't really understand that design idea. I mean, you could have like totally flipped the bedroom door to here, give a bigger bathroom. I don't know. I don't know. Regardless, let's go up in the attic which we do have a nice attic access ladder, which is cool. And since we're gonna be demoing out walls and stuff, um, I'm not sure exactly to what extent we're demoing walls, but I know we're gonna be taking out some walls here. We gotta make sure everything's not load bearing. And I don't believe anything in here is. I believe it's all a clear span um, roof. It's not a very wide building, so there's no reason they couldn't just clear span this with their trusses. Oh, come on. Really? The light's not, the light's not gonna work right now. Good thing is everything up here is Pretty much plywooded. It's all insulated, it's insulated well. We're gonna need to get in the walls here because we gotta add a sink. We then gotta add our drain lines, which means we're gonna be removing all the flooring in here. We gotta saw cut everything to be able to run our plumbing underground all the way out. We're probably gonna tie it into the plumbing that's in the bathroom right here, which then runs out to the septic system. And for those of you that wonder what Chris does for a living, Chris is actually gonna be coming in here and designing up the whole kitchen for us. He's a master at that. Um, so we're gonna let him do that. Now I've thought about, and I could be crazy, I've thought about making this a two bedroom. We definitely have the space for it if I eat up some of the garage space out here. Rental wise, it would be better to have a two bedroom. Um, do I wanna give up that garage space yet? I don't really know. So we'll kinda 
We'll figure that out as we evolve this project. And I might be a little allergic to being in there because my eyes just started watering and my nose does not enjoy it. Can't wait to get that place demoed. All right, y'all, so I've grabbed a tow rope here. We're gonna grab the Mini X. I'm gonna pull the dumpster over closer to the house to make hauling all the crap out to throw in it easier. Let's go see if this thing will cooperate and not get stuck in the gravel and we end up ripping wheels off. Let's see how loaded this thing is. Eh, it's gonna be a little heavy. Tomorrow is trash day, so it's about as full as it's gonna get here. Well, that didn't make it. Get it slung up on a tooth here. There goes nothing. Papi quiere el piso de madera. All right, guys, well, that worked out well. Chava is the king of taking things, so apparently Chava wants all of the laminate flooring that's coming out of there. So that means less of it's going in the dumpster. I'm still going to bring the dumpster over because we still got drywall and tile and stuff that's going to get broken out. Come on, wheel turn. There we go. Probably move all of Dedek's crap that we have here. Uh, we've got to orient it so the trash man can still come in and easily pick it up. So bien, puppy. Getting this wall ready to be torn out here. And remove the electrical. There we go. Now on the other side here, we're gonna have to get the fridge and stuff moved. Uh, Dedic, you left plenty of video games here though, buddy. Apparently, you've got a thing for Game of Thrones and a Keurig. Oh, I'm dead. Really? Really? That's gross. All right, so we'll get the door removed here. Throw out Dedek's uh, dinner here. I don't know what the heck that is. I don't want to know. Hopefully, none of you video game lovers are watching this. Hey, boy. David. David, tiene Xbox? Sí. No sé esto. Maybe it's aquí. Sí. Yeah. Todo. Huh? Gracias, yeah. Bien. Nada. There you go, guys. We're upcycling. It will give it to his son. All right. Let's get this thing fridge moved out of here. You don't look like you're gonna fit. So it looks like it's gonna take a couple of us to fit this fridge through that little door there if it's even gonna fit. So for now, we'll just get it scooted out of the way. It's not gonna be too messy removing this wall. Um, for those of you that wonder why I always leave plastic on things, like this has the plastic on it. It's a stainless fridge. It's not a super sweet blue tinted fridge. Uh, for times like this, we're gonna move this thing out of here a few times. There's gonna be construction going on. And then when we get the new kitchen built, this thing's gonna look nice and brand new. Now before we get too close to this edge and tear this wall out. There's something kind of weird going on there detail wise as to why the wall is like diving in into the window frame. So I'm not sure what the framing looks like on the backside there. So I'm just gonna start breaking the drywall out a little bit ways away until I can look inside that wall and see what's going on. So here goes nothing.
HGTV, if you're watching, I did the standard demo. Kick, kick through the wall thing, you know. I'm ready for my own TV show if you guys are. So far, demo's going pretty well. Uh, I think also gonna come out pretty easily. Now we've almost got this entire wall taken out and it's already looking a lot more open and better in here. Um, we're gonna finish our, we'll finish our last little bit of demo on the drywall, the door, and the casing and then we can remove all this framing. And you'll see that at one point, like the drywall goes up above this two by four, which means this whole thing was drywalled before this wall was put in. This was kind of an afterthought, I'm assuming. It's always crazy trying to like figure out the sequence of events and how things came to be. Keep ripping this drywall out here. Make me another handhold. And again, guys, you always want to score your corners, score your roof. That way you don't end up like making a bigger mess of pulling the drywall mud off. Um, I didn't score it super deep right here. So you can see what they use is a, it's like a fiber mesh tape in these corners, that's what kind of locks everything together. It's either mesh, paper, there's a couple different types of tapes, but you'll see if you don't cut through that on the edge, you'll tear a little bit of it back. Granted, this whole thing's getting re drywalled, so it's not that big a deal, but if you're doing something where you don't want to like create a mess over here that you're gonna have to fix because you only want to work over there, always score those as deep as you can. So, it looks like somebody ran a little short there. Scab that piece on. Now it's loud in there, so bear with me, but we got Abel and Pop, people are running dual roto hammers in there, getting all of the tile chiseled up. I'll take you guys inside right now. You're not gonna be able to hear me. Now while the boys are in there tearing up the tile, um, kind of taking a peek at this back wall here. This is where the big uh, sliding barn doors used to be to open up the animal stall. And you can see that it, they used an interesting technique here to kind of close everything off. It's just, looks like whatever was lying around, a lot of self-tappers and a lot of uh, expanding spray foam. So we're gonna have to remedy that. Now, if you look on the other side of that wall here, um, half of it is barbecue's pen. The only animal on the farm that sketches me out is in fact barbecue the pig. Barbecue, you awake? What's up, girl? How are ya? You just chilling? Okay. These are the big sliding doors that got covered up. And what I would like to do is basically take that edge of the opening, cut it all the way across and make this a two car garage, which means we're gonna have to move barbecue's pen, which isn't that big of a deal. We've actually got other pens up there or we could put her in the big round pen right there and we'll just have to put some chain link around it so no coyotes could get in. Cause I imagine she is a great treat for a coyote. And then we're also gonna lose half of our garden which you can see, even though we put all the sprinklers and the irrigation and stuff in, we haven't really used this yet. That's the long-term goal. Um, we're probably gonna be doing the interior stuff first, just to get this thing um, ready for our friend that wants to move in. But if you guys know me by now, you know I probably am gonna end up doing way more than I, the bare minimum and I should have, and we'll, we'll probably end up making this a lot bigger than it needed to be. Now, one of the other things I'm contemplating doing is taking out this wall right here, well, this side wall where the kitchen is, and actually extending it further out and giving a bigger kitchen to where we can run cabinets on both sides. Granted, that turns what was a one and three quarter car garage here down to like, you'll only really be able to fully pull in one car. But even if we came out to about here, we would still have a bunch of room over here for storage and or we turn this into a laundry room on this side. And I'm gonna wait till we get the place fully demoed, kind of stand back, take a look at everything and then that's all determined exactly what we're gonna do, where, why, who, what, uh, when, whatever. Now let me go over my outside plans for you guys, since there's not a whole lot I can film inside without it being super, super loud. So basically, you see we got this beautiful concrete patio over here. Aside from this one section, which 
Looks like this either was the original section or this was the original section. I don't know why this would have been added with so many weird joints cut in it at random places. This doesn't make sense to me, but you can see it's lifting up a little bit and that is, I would guarantee from that big old pine tree right there, the roots are, I'm sure, underneath here and lifting this up. I'm gonna assume this was put in in 88 by Bud and Joyce. So my plan here is to actually give the renter um, a full-size backyard. So basically, this little like, right now it's probably, I don't know what we'd call that, about 12 foot. What I wanna do is I wanna remove all of this fencing. I wanna come from about the edge of the house right there, all the way out, probably to about somewhere in here and run a whole new actual wall, either out of block or we're gonna do block columns with wood fencing in between. Haven't decided that one yet. And then I'll actually give them like their own private backyard as well as if they have dogs, which my friend that's moving in does have dogs. It'll keep the dogs from seeing the animals and vice versa. I don't want any dogs chasing our animals or anything like that. So if they can't see them, it's not an issue. And then we'll probably end up putting turf or something down out here and kind of landscaping it, you know, somewhat decent. And then in the front yard, I'll probably put another little like three foot block wall or something just to give you a little courtyard. And I'm gonna try to avoid doing as much stucco repair as we can because you can't just patch this and be good. Like you gotta patch this, go find the paint color, repaint it. At the very best, it matches close enough. In the real world, it's not gonna match at all and you're gonna end up repainting the whole thing. Here's an outside view of that window. I don't know if you guys can see it, but basically that's the wall. There's still, <laughs> it, it doesn't really make sense. Now, while those guys are finishing getting the last little bits of tile out, we're gonna go in and we're gonna start tearing out this corral fencing that's inside of the uh, back section here. We're gonna start calling this the garage. We'll just cut this into smaller sections here to make it a little easier to get rid of. One panel off. So somehow the cats are getting in here. I haven't quite figured it out, but you can see they enjoy some tasty treats in here of birds. Somewhere they're squeezing in. It's gotta be through one of these like just pieces of drywall or plywood shoved up against the door, but I don't see a gap big enough. Well then again, I'm not a cat, so maybe, I don't know. I have no idea how they're getting in here, but they are getting in here. Okay, this whole piece should be free now. Let's see if I slide her over. I'm hoping we can get her out the door. We're gonna have to finagle the crap out of this because that door is super low compared to the height of this. I'm assuming this came in the giant barn doors before that got sealed up. 87, probably 80. 80. I'll see. Maybe a... No. It will. It's the lado poquito arriba. Maybe see. Maybe no. Oh. No. No. Okay. Must put us. All right, guys. So we totally failed on getting this out of here. Um, if these weren't actually really nice pieces of corral fencing, I would just chop this top off and get it out. But that top is kind of what holds it all together since it has a, a door in it. So we're gonna wait till we open that wall up before these are ever gonna get out of here. But I can pile them up over here for now. Give us room to work on this side and figure out if we're gonna add a laundry room here, an extra bedroom, or what the heck's gonna happen. Now I've got this side unbolted from the wall and this side will fit out the door, um, especially once I get rid of this T-post on here. So we'll pull this out and again, this is giving me plenty of room right here to kind of decide what we're gonna do with this space. Get rid of Dedek's old TV mount here. You can see he used the old uh, 16th inch drill bit test or 8th inch drill bit. Drill, 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 I guess till you hit a stud. Not a technique I recommend. Puppy, get in a there or no? What, TV? Okay. Alrighty y'all, well we have uh, pretty much finished up for the day. Abel and Poppy have already taken off and you can see like this place is already looking much bigger, much more open. I was kind of looking at the kitchen setup here and 
Right now it's gonna be like galley style other than we'll basically just have to have cabinets on this side and really nothing over here on this side, which isn't that bad, but we could totally open this wall up and push it further out and now we can give you a row of cabinets on both sides um, and basically make this kitchen a lot bigger and a lot nicer. And then really this closet could either stay or leave, but kind of what I'm thinking with the closet is being that it's four foot deep here, if we split it um, and give you about 24 inches and open up a door on the other side, we are now giving you enough room to hang hangers because 24 inches is enough room for that. And then this side would just be a little bit smaller because obviously by the time you put in the wall, you're eating up about four inches or so. Um, and then we can make this side like a linen closet or somewhere to store brooms or a vacuum or whatever um, and keep this closet. And I kind of like the way that this closet separates what would be the kitchen a little bit more, um, even though we want kind of the open concept. We are thinking about basically running a row of cabinets there and then kind of bumping out here a little peninsula, which would give you basically two little bar stools and a nice area to eat in. That way you don't have to have a, a kitchen table in here because this room really isn't big enough to have like a dining room table or anything like that. So it's an option we've talked about. We've talked about, I'm gonna have Chris come in here and I'm gonna let Chris kind of design up the kitchen and. I trust that guy, so I'm gonna build basically whatever me and him can come up with. Now, in the bathroom side of things, I don't like this bathroom. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's a really small shower stall. I think it's like 30 by 30. Kind of gross in here. Uh, this thing has seen better days. I don't, I don't know how you shower in here, but it's a good thing Dedek came from the Navy and was in a Navy ship because this was probably like luxury to him. But to most people, I feel like I don't know a little bit bigger of a shower maybe. I don't know if we just remove this wall right here and then we run like a 36 by 36 corner shower and buy you a little bit more room. We're still, we're still working on that part. We haven't quite figured that out yet. I'm just super stoked to see all of the nasty flooring out of here. Um, not sure why Chavo wanted that, but Chavo really wanted that flooring. So he took that, um, he took the old door that was right there, even though it was all kind of jacked up. Now the window layout in here is not ideal. Um, the way Dedek kind of had it was there was a couch right there, which would lead to like, you'd want to put a TV on this wall, but you kind of got the window there. I guess if you ran like a little TV stand and put the TV on top of it, it would actually work out pretty well. Uh, my original plan is to, Cut an opening in this wall right here, and that's your door to your backyard. Now again, I don't really want to deal with stucco. So what I'm thinking I might do is we actually make the backyard wall come out to here, here, die into the building right there. Then you also have your little courtyard here, but we'll put a gate right there that allows you to go into the backyard. But it's not ideal, but I think it would save a lot of headache and a lot of stucco repair. So that might just be that might just be the ticket right there. Now this is one of my favorite tricks we discovered in here. You know, obviously you have your door jam and then you put on your door casing, it goes all the way around the jam. And then sometimes you put a door too close to a corner, which is, you know, not ideal, but it happens. Um, so, so you just turn the door casing sideways. Like you don't, you don't have to have that. You know, like I feel like a little drywall mud or like a little caulking on that edge. Cause we're talking maybe a quarter inch there from the door jam to this drywall. Like you could have just caulked that and painted it, but I, I guess we go with the, the sideways casing. Interesting. So the last little bit of trash we got to get out of here for right now. Um, we're going to actually end up having to cut this plywood down to fit in the dumpster. All right, plywood stay. Oh, we're gonna lose it. Oh. Goats, are you coming to help me? Come here. Come on. You guys wanna drive? Come on. There you go, there you go. Okay, you drive. I'm gonna get this loaded back up. You guys take it to the dumpster. Oh, well, okay. What? You don't think this is gonna work? But look at this. We're just gonna do this right here. Now we'll keep it from sliding out again, all right? All right. Oof, we got this thing pretty well stacked here. Hopefully they can dump this. Otherwise it gets very expensive. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a lot more than I anticipated today. Just to avoid any extra weight, we'll leave these over here for now. What are you walking the catwalk? Yeah, you practicing? You gonna be a model one day? Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, I believe in you. You'd be whatever you want to be, all right? This is California. You identify as a person, a model, I don't know. All righty, y'all. Well, that's going to conclude day one over here on, we're going to call this the guest house renovation. I got a tighter deadline to get this done than I do my driveway, but it's going to kind of be back and forth between this and the driveway. We've got two concrete pours that we're going to be lining up, one to grout all of the block work up at the front gate, and then we're going to come in and obviously do all the flat work in the actual driveway itself. But kind of in between doing all that, we're going to be working in here because, again, I got a two-month deadline to get this place completely dialed in and ready to be moved into so it's gonna get interesting but with that we're gonna wrap up as always thank you guys so much for watching if you have not subscribed already please click the subscribe button now they do not miss out on any future content don't forget to give this video a like and get a thumbs up don't forget to check out workforwardapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life you gotta be willing to work for it you guys are the best i'm out damn uh. yeah uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.